Welcome back to another one of these all college team videos. Today we have USC. The team's overall isn't great, there are 76, but there are some pretty decent players on this team overall wise. Sam Darnold of course is going to be the starting quarterback, just drafted this year by the New York Jets. 75 overall, quick development, hopefully he can win rookie of the year or something. Ronald Jones is going to be the running back. He has normal development, at some point he had star I think. I think I'll still keep him as a starter though. Buck Allen is going to be the backup. I don't really want him to start because he's 27 years old. He's definitely not bad, but he doesn't really have too much room to grow. Maybe Ronald Jones can play really well. I highly doubt it though. This wide receiver core is very good. I want Juju Smith-Schuster being the first wide receiver though because he's the youngest. He's only 21 years old. He has star development. He will probably be the highest overall on this entire offense in a couple seasons. I'm sure he'll even be higher than Tyron Smith. Robert Woods, another good wide receiver, is going to be the number two. Nelson Aguilar is going to be playing the slot. And then Marquise Lee is here as well at the number four. This offensive line is really bad aside from Tyron Smith. Of course, one of the best left tackles in the NFL. He is fantastic, but really, the Khalil brothers are the next two best, and they're not that great anymore. Ryan Khalil isn't terrible at center, but they're also both very old. So it'll be rough to try to replace those guys if we even can. Rhett Ellison and Xavier Grimble were the only tight ends I could find. Ellison is 29 years old, more of a blocking kind of guy. I mean, not really, but he's a pretty decent run block, I guess. But I thought he was more of a run blocker than that. And then Xavier Grimble, I don't really know what he's all about, to be honest. He's just not that great overall. Hopefully we can find a tight end. That'd be really cool. On the defense, though, this defensive line is scary. Leonard Williams is starting at right end. Jarrell Casey, I slid to defensive tackle because I think he fits it better than anyone else on this team. Frosty Rucker is here. We have Woods down here as well. Antoine Woods. And then, you know, Wes Horton. I've already said Frosty Rucker. We have Rasheem Green, I think his name is. And then, of course, we have Everson Griffin, one of the highest rated players on this team. Star development. Very good defensive end. He doesn't really fit in a 3-4, but I think he can get the job done in simulation. Cornerback core isn't too bad either. Adora Jackson, Nikel Roby Coleman... Is this Kevon Seymour, I think? What are your stats all about? Not too bad, actually. You're pretty fast, which is nice. And then Sharice Wright is also here. TJ McDonald will be the starting free safety. Sua Cravens is going to be the starting strong safety. I couldn't find any kickers or punters. I looked through free agency, so I'm just going to keep, you know, the Jets special teams there. Marquise Lee will be returning kicks along with Nelson Aguilar, I guess. And then Adore Jackson will be the punt returner. The specialist side looks like this. Everson Griffin is going to be the rush left end. Clay Matthews, the rush right end. Jarrell Casey, rush defensive tackle. Uchenna and Wosu. I don't know how to pronounce that. I couldn't figure it out in my Chargers rebuild, so I apologize if I really messed up his name. Let me know how that's actually pronounced if that wasn't correct in the comment section, you know, you USC fans. And then Kevon Seymour will be starting at slot corner. I, yeah, I'm okay with that. I was going to put Nikel Roby Coleman there, but he actually plays kind of well on the outside in simulation. Nelson Aguilar will be the slot wide receiver, and I just realized I never actually went over the linebackers. Let me do that quickly, and then I'll sim. But we have Nick Perry at right outside linebacker. We have both of the Packers outside linebackers, actually. Clay Matthews and Nick Perry. Devon Kennard is actually an outside linebacker, but I shifted him to middle because there really weren't many middle linebackers on this team. And Wosu isn't really a great middle linebacker. He's only a 69 overall, but I think he's better than anyone else I could have had. Could have moved Malcolm Smith inside. Didn't really want to. We have Hayes Pollard as well. Didn't really want to start him. I'm not sure if there's anyone else. I don't think this Hewitt guy went to USC. He went to Marshall. Okay, so the linebacker core is pretty weak. The outside linebackers are getting up there in age as well. So hopefully we can find some guys in the draft. Probably not. You can't really expect to find any positions of need in these kind of videos in the draft. Let's see what happens though. I'll see you at the midseason mark with the record. What is the record like at the midseason mark? Three and five, a bit better than I expected, to be honest. The Dolphins are seven and one. That's kind of interesting. The Patriots are 5-3. We are tied with the Bills, you know, for the record. Darnold has an experience point. Juju Smith-Schuster has one. So does Nelson Aguilar. Marquise Lee does. No one else, though, on the offense. The defensive side, we have one for a couple guys. Two from Adore Jackson. I hope he develops into a really solid player. So now, I'll just bring back all the players from USC. I'll scout, and then I'll see you at the end of the season. We missed out on the playoffs this season, but we did just beat the Patriots. That's pretty cool. 7-8-1 really is not that bad. 11-5 for the Dolphins, 9-6-1 for the Patriots, 4-12 for the Bills. I think I have the Bills first round draft pick, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully there's a good USC rookie. I actually didn't end up scouting when I said I was going to. I don't know. I figured I could probably find everyone I need to with like one week of scouting, so I just decided to wait. The Lions, though, we beat them the first week, lost three in a row. 
beat the Broncos, and the Colts lost two, beat the Dolphins, lost to the Bills, tied to the Patriots, lost to the Titans, won two more, lost to the Packers, and then beat the Patriots. So we tied to the Patriots and beat them. I'm surprised we actually played better than them this season. Matt Ryan wins MVP, as pretty expected. Darnold, though, almost 4,200 yards, 29 touchdowns, 9 picks. That is a really, really good season. 63% completion percentage, you know, could be better, but that's still not terrible. We'll definitely take that season for sure. Ronald Jones was not very good, under 3 yards a carry. Javorius Allen, also under 3 yards a carry. We really need a running back, hopefully we can find one. Nelson Aguilar had over 1,000 yards with 9 touchdowns. Juju Smith-Schuster had 8 touchdowns. Robert Woods, though, 94 catches, 912 yards. Only 2 touchdowns, but still pretty decent production blocking probably is terrible I'm not sure how Tyron Smith lets up the most sacks on this team even though he's like the best offensive lineman by far 114 tackles from Nwosu I doubt that's enough for defensive rookie of the year that'd be really cool though 21 tackles for loss for Jarrell Casey 12 for Clay Matthews 11 from Devon Kennard sack numbers six and a half for Everson Griffin five for Clay Matthews and Leonard Williams interceptions four from Nikel Roby Coleman two from Kevon Seymour Pretty sure that's pronounced Kevon, or Kevin. I doubt that's Kevin, right? I don't know. Suwa Cravens got two, TJ McDonald and Adore Jackson each got one. I don't think I've ever heard his name pronounced before, so I'm not sure how to say it. Touchdowns, we don't have any. Any safeties? No, any blocked kicks. We have two from Wes Horton. All right, that's pretty cool. 25th in the NFL on offense. If we had a better run game, that would be near the top, I'm sure. Eighth in the NFL on defense. I think this team is just a good running back away from making it to the playoffs, to be honest. Nobody from the Jets makes it in uh, the MVP running. Offensive player of the year, maybe Sam Darnold. He actually makes that number eight. Okay, so there's no rookies above him. That is a great sign. Defensive player of the year. There is a rookie below him, though. Hold on. Baker Mayfield comes in at number 10. I hope he doesn't sneak away with offensive rookie of the year. Miles Jack wins defensive player of the year. Nobody from the Jets. Offensive rookie of the year goes to Sam Darnold. That is huge. Ronald Jones comes in fifth somehow. Defensive rookie of the year actually goes to Nwosu. That's pretty awesome, too. I doubt he got that many experience points because he really didn't have a great season, but maybe Darnold made the Pro Bowl or something. That would be huge. He only got three, but still, if he can replicate that season again, I'll be perfectly fine. Three for Nelson Aguilar and Juju Smith-Schuster on the defensive side, and Wosu also has three. All right, three from Midori Jackson, two from Nikel Roby Coleman. A couple other guys have some too. With my first pick in this draft, I'm going to go with Eric Mann. He's a six foot three red zone threat wide receiver. Pretty decent 40-yard dash time, 4-5 isn't too bad, and he has very good top 3 skills, but I'm thinking that I'm going to move him to tight end, because we don't have a good tight end, and we have a ton of good wide receivers, so let's go with him. 80 overall, quick development, ranked 4th, we took him at number 3, it's definitely a reach. 90 speed, 89 acceleration, 81 catching, 88 short route running, 90 spectacular catch, 91 agility, 90 jumping. This guy's going to make for a great tight end, I think. I now have the fourth overall pick. I traded up with the Buccaneers just to, you know, acquire this pick here. Before I actually select this guy, Jalen Hinton looks like a very good wide receiver. I'm kind of curious to see what he's all about. Wisconsin seems to have a pretty good draft this year. But here we're going with Fisher Lucas, a free safety. Not the fastest, but he still looks pretty good. B zone, B minus hit power, C plus tackle. He's going to be a 77 overall with quick development. Not too bad. That was a bit of a reach for sure. 85 speed, 89 acceleration, 83 zone coverage is nice. I'll probably have him start somewhere. I'm not, I have to like kind of figure out what I want to do with the defense though. I have two more players left out of USC and I have like five draft picks. I'm just going to take these guys with my next two. Even though this guy's probably a bust, I think he'll go sooner than Johnny Beckham. So let's go with DeAndre Eason. He still might be better than some of our offensive linemen, so I'm not too worried about this draft pick. He's going to be a 70 overall, but he has star development. That is so random. Yeah, so you're definitely going to play just because you have really good development. And I'm pretty sure he'll go up higher than most of our offensive linemen after this season. And then hopefully this left tackle can actually be kind of decent. If that guy's a 70, then this left tackle should be at least like a 73. Hopefully he's still here, by the way. He is Johnny Beckham. Pretty decent looking tackle. He's six foot seven as well. He's massive. 74 overall normal development. Okay, that is a great pick. There weren't that many players out of USC in this draft, but they are, they are each going to start, I think. Let's see who the highest ranked player in this entire draft was. It might be the 82 overall guy right there. It is going to be him, Josh Corona. I think he was the first overall pick. Six foot seven, 308 pounds. 88 block shed, 87 strength, 84 tackling, 81 speed. Looking like a nice defensive end. Hinton, this guy looks really good. 81 overall, quick development. Not the fastest, but he's really good at a bunch of different stats. 94 spectacular catches, pretty nuts. 
Austin Bubin, Bubin, I don't know. Star development quarterback with 96 throw power. This guy had a pit. Yeah, okay, that guy looked pretty good. Really good accuracy stats as well. 79 speed. The Patriots got a legend right there. I think the teams overall went up from last season to now, which is nice. A couple of these guys upgraded pretty decently. Sam Donald's up to a 78. Juju Smith-Schuster's up to a 90. This is the wide receiver we drafted. He moved to an 85 at tight end, which is going to be awesome. Hopefully he can go up even more than that. Beckham is starting at right tackle. He looks pretty decent as a rookie. Eason with star development and starting at center. I'm going to start Buck Allen for this season just to see if he can do any better than Ronald Jones. I kind of doubt it, but let's see what happens. And then on the defensive side, you know, Adoree Jackson's upgrading pretty well. Nikel Roby Coleman is as well. And then Lucas is starting at free safety. This is the guy we just drafted as well. He's going to start over TJ McDonald. I'm okay with that. Um, here's what the, the specialist looks like. Also, I don't have a kicker right now. I didn't bring back Jason Myers because he didn't go to USC, but Lack Edwards is still on a contract, so I just kept him. But the specialist is a little bit different since Nick Perry is now starting at rush right end instead of Clay Matthews. I think that's who was starting there last year. And then Lucas, our safety, is actually the first sub linebacker. I think everything else is kind of the same. So I'll see you at the midseason. At the midseason mark, we are 3-4. and four. That's actually really not that bad. We definitely have a shot at making the playoffs this season since the leader of the division is only going 4-4. Four and four. The Bills are also 3-4. and four. The Dolphins are 2-6. and six. Lucas has two experience points. It's kind of nice to see. On the offensive side, though, one from a couple guys here. Not really anything special. On the defense, two for Lucas. We already saw that. One from some other players as well. So I'll bring back whoever I need to bring back, and I'll see you at the end of the season. I'm also going to save my coach experience. I want to see if I can get the quarterback upgrade here. The team did not make the playoffs once again. How did we do this season? 6-10, and 10, so we did worse. The Patriots were 8-8, eight and eight, the Bills 7-9, and nine, and the Dolphins 4-11-1. This would have been a great season to make the playoffs because the league leader, or the division leader, won 8-8. Eight and eight. It's alright though. 2-2 two two in the preseason. Beat the Browns to start off the season. Lost 2, won 2 in a row, lost 3. Beat the Broncos, lost 2, won 2 more, and then lost the last 3. It's kind of rough, but it's alright. Drew Brees won MVP. Let's check out the stats though. Sam Darnold over 4,000 yards again. 29 touchdowns, 13 interceptions, so I like having over 4,000 yards, but you need to get the uh, touchdowns up and the interceptions down. Javorius Allen was actually a lot better than Ronald Jones this year. Five touchdowns, almost 1,000 yards, I'll take it. No receiver, got over 1,000 yards. Eric Mann, though, played pretty well with five touchdowns. Juju Smith-Schuster got seven. Nelson Aguilar only got four. Only 10 sacks let up from the right tackle. That's not too bad, considering he's a rookie. The offensive line actually played pretty pretty well this season. 108 tackles from Fisher Lucas, our free safety. We have 16 tackles for loss for Everson Griffin, 15 for Jarrell Casey, 12 for Devon Kennard, 12 for Leonard Williams. 10 sacks for Nick Perry is really good, 7 for Leonard Williams isn't bad either. We have 2 interceptions from Adoree Jackson, 1 from Nikel Roby Coleman, Fisher Lucas, and Sharice Wright. Really not that many interceptions this season. Any defensive touchdowns? I don't see any. Any safeties? No. Any blocked kicks? We have 1 from Everson Griffin. All right. 22nd in the NFL in offense. Defense is probably pretty bad this year. Actually, 12th isn't bad at all. We just need a better offensive effort, really. I doubt anyone from the Jets is going to be in this. I'm correct. Anybody from the Jets in the AFC Offensive Player of the Year? I don't see anyone. Defensive Player of the Year? Maybe. Nobody. Offensive Rookie of the Year? Eric Mann comes in fourth. Defensive Rookie of the Year? Fisher Lucas comes in second. Lester Mills is also in there. That guy isn't, like, really eligible to be starting, so I don't really care too much about him. I don't think he went to USC. I don't remember drafting him. Two experience points for a couple guys here. Javoris Allen, Allen is uh, not confident. Two for Nelson Aguilar as well. On the defense, Fisher Lucas has seven. That was a Pro Bowl berth, right? That had to have been a Pro Bowl. Let's see. He made the Pro Bowl, and I think that's where he got most of it from. And he also got star development now. Okay, that guy's going to be a really good defensive back. Two for a couple other guys as well. I have the first overall pick in this draft right now, and we are going with Sean Knox, the best player out of USC, you know, that I could find. Pritt looks pretty good, actually. Six foot four is a great height for a free safety. Four six five speed isn't amazing, but he's very agile and has good acceleration, which is always nice to see, and he has pretty good top three skills. Let's go with him. 78 overall, quick development. Not a bad looking player. 84 speed is actually kind of bad, but he is six foot four. So, I mean, at least that's something. 89 acceleration, not bad at all. This draft was really uneventful, you know, for players out of USC. I found that guy and then these two undrafted dudes. I'm just going to take them both now, even though they're terrible. Let's go with this guy. He's a 66 overall. It took him at number 7. He was ranked 267th. 
Nah, that's not a reach by any means. What are you talking about? So my next pick, I'll just take whoever is left there. Let's take this last guy, Richard Greer. He's probably going to be a 63 overall. 66 overall. Look at that. Even better. Let's take a look at the draft recap here. I'll show you guys who the computer ended up selecting for me. Obviously, these players don't matter down here. Really good looking halfback. 77 overall, 87 speed. 91 acceleration, 87 agility. Not bad whatsoever. Can't start him. He went to Illinois State. Kind of rough. We really need a running back on this team, but it's okay. Let's see who the best player in the draft was, though. There's an 81 overall guy down there. Is that the best? Okay, so there's a couple guys tied for the best. Harvey Allison, Casey Baptiste. Jamison Cody and Christian Soder. Two guys there out of Wisconsin. Wisconsin seems like they're going to have a pretty good team. 94 speed star development safety. Oh my. This guy looks insane. 77 catching. That's pretty cool too. That guy would be awesome to actually have in a franchise and like build around. He's 23 years old, which is a bit rough, but still not too bad whatsoever. Pretty decent looking draft here. I was about to just end my talking there, but then I realized that Wisconsin has this guy. This tight end, this cornerback, and this right guard. They have four of the top, what, six players? Anyone else down here? They have this left end too. Holy crap. And this wide receiver, Wisconsin, this year was absurd with their draft. This is going to be the team for this final season. Ronald Jones is kind of forced into being the running back. He has quick development now, though, which is kind of cool, I guess. Javorius Allen is down to a 72 overall. I don't know why he regressed so badly, but I'm not going to start him. I doubt he'd have any kind of success right now. Juju Smith-Schuster, Robert Woods, Nelson Aguilar, Marquise Lee. Still the wide receiver is probably the strongest group on this offensive side. Our left tackle is still amazing. Everyone else kind of sucks on the offensive line. The rookies played pretty well last season, though, to be fair. The offensive line as a whole, at least pass blocked pretty well. I need Grimble to be the backup tight end. And then Mann is the starting tight end, 86 overall. He's pretty good there. On the defensive side... We have a rookie who we could start at free safety. I mean, or strong safety. I don't know where I want to, if I would want to start this guy anywhere. I think I might just let that go and have him be like the backup. He's not good enough to move down a corner. And Suar Cravens is up to an 80. So I think I'm going to leave it out like how it is now. Linebackers are getting worse by the seasons because Clay Matthews and Nick Perry are both pretty old. Defensive line though is getting better. Kind of Everson Griffin's going down overall. I think he'll still play well. Secondary has gotten better from the start for sure. I need a punter and a kicker at some point because I just keep not re-signing the players. The computer just signs for me because they didn't go to USC. I just let them sign whoever. Uh, the special teams looks fine though, like the kicker returner and the punt returner. On the specialist side here, I need Ronald Jones to be the third down running back. Let's just do that. I think that's okay. Nelson Aguilar is still a slot wide receiver. Slot corner, I want to go to Kevon Seymour. Lucas can be the sub linebacker. That's perfectly fine. I think everything else is okay. So I don't think this team will make the playoffs, but let's see what kind of season we can, you know, come up with. We made the playoffs going 9-7. and seven. Wow. We have to take on the Steelers, who are 11-5. and five. I feel like there's no chance we win that game. We won the division. The Patriots were 8-8, eight and eight, the Bills were 7-9, and nine, and the Dolphins were 6-10. and 10. What a season. I kind of expected this team to go like 6-10 and 10 again, but we were 3-1 and one in the preseason. Only opening two games, two-game losing streak. Then after that, beat the Rams. That's interesting. Lost to the Chiefs. Won three in a row, lost to the Patriots and the Bills, beat the Patriots, the Cardinals, and the 49ers, and then lost the last two. The season could have been even better if we could have like clutched up those last two games and you know finished the season strong. Baker Mayfield, though, wins the MVP. Sam Darnold over 4,000 yards, 29 touchdowns, 11 interceptions. Really hasn't been playing badly this entire time, so I'm okay with it. Ronald Jones, better than his first season, but still not great. 3.4 yards a carry isn't very good. Over 900 yards isn't terrible. Nine touchdowns is pretty good. Three fumbles isn't great either. No one over 1,000 yards receiving. Juju Smith-Schuster, though, gets eight touchdowns. He's the closest to 1,000 yards. Eric Mann's been playing pretty well. Nelson Aguilar has been doing well in the slot, too. Blocking, how is this? Not too bad, honestly. Like, those sack numbers don't look crazy to me. 98 tackles from Adoree Jackson actually leads the team. Fisher Lucas comes in second, or ties, I guess, with 98 as well. 16 tackles for loss for Darrell Casey with 11 sacks. That is a great season. 12 for Everson Griffin, 11 for Leonard Williams. Sack numbers 11 for Darrell Casey, 7.5 for Leonard Williams leads the team. Or he's Leonard Williams is in second. I mean, Suar Cravens gets two picks. Fisher Lucas, Adore Jackson, and Kevon Seymour all get two as well. Devon Kennard, Nikel Roby Coleman, Sean Knox. That's the free safety we drafted. Cool. He gets one, and then Lester Mills, this random guy, the computer drafted me at some point. He gets one, too. Let's check out the defensive touchdowns. We don't have any any safeties. 
We have one from Everson Griffin, and then one blocked kick from Malcolm Smith. He does something. He's been a backup like this whole time. 22nd in the NFL on offense, but the defense was 22nd as well, and somehow this team went 9-7. and seven. Baker Mayfield, we already saw this. The Browns go 14-2. and two. What a turnaround from you know, last year. If they can do that in real life, that would be insane. If they can go 14-2 and two in a couple seasons. Nobody from the Jets is in this. I didn't really expect anyone to be there. Probably the same goes here. A defensive player of the year, maybe. Nah, no one makes it. Offensive rookie of the year. I doubt we have anyone. Defensive rookie of the year. Maybe your safety. There he is. He comes in there at number eight. Best quarterback. I feel like Darnold will be in this. There he is at number six. Not bad at all. Best running back. No chance. Ronald Jones made it at number nine. Why? I'm really surprised on that one. What is Marlon Mack up to? 83? I feel like his overall should be a little higher. Best wide receiver. D.D. Westbrook. 97 overall. Wow. I think I started the, the wrong wide receiver when I did my Jaguars rebuild. That is interesting. Okay, anyway. Anybody from our team? No, but there's two Bills receivers. Albert Wilson and Zay Jones. Chester Rogers. What kind of players? Deshaun Hamilton, too. This is such a strange group of players. I never actually took a look at the wide receivers. But, like, Antonio Brown, I feel like, is the only one who really makes sense in this list. Maybe Cortland Sutton in a couple years, but still. Best offensive lineman goes to David DeCastro. No disrespect to any of those guys, by the way. It's just, there's so many insanely good wide receivers. It's kind of strange to see, like, a bunch of 80s in that list. Tyron Smith comes in sixth. I don't know if I actually already said that. Carson Berger. What a name. Uh, best deal lineman is Miles Garrett. Jarrell Casey comes in fourth, though. He had a great season. Best linebacker goes to Von Miller. Nobody else, nobody at all at all from the Jets. Best defensive back, anybody from the Jets, I really doubt it. I don't see anyone. Best kicker, doesn't even matter if our guy makes it because he didn't go to USC. I think our kicker is Dan Bailey at this point. I think that's either the computer signed for me. Experience-wise, what do we got? Two from Sam Darnold. That's with the quarterback upgrade too. That's kind of sad. On the defense though, seven from Lucas again. He developed into an absolute beast. Three from Adore Jackson. Not bad. There's a chance we could potentially win this playoff game. I really doubt it, though. Looking at this overall here, actually, I think there's a decent chance we win this game. We're in 81 overall. That's really not that bad. The offensive line is still terrible, but other than that, the offense really isn't too terrible. The defense is really good. Aside from the linebackers, if you look at every other position that isn't a linebacker, they're very, very good. This guy went up to a 91, and he has superstar development now. Like, geez, 95 zone coverage. He is an amazing free safety. He was a great draft pick. Let's see what the Steelers overall is. It's probably closer to a 90. 86 overall compared to our 81. Let's see. Can we actually win this game? Can the underdogs come up with a win over the Steelers? The powerhouse in this game. We won? Okay, we beat the Steelers 27-17. But we have to take on the 14-2 Browns. Oh, no. What's their overall? 88 overall. Can we make... A crazy run into the Super Bowl. Let's see. Let's see if we can advance to the conference championship first. Did we beat the Browns? We lost to the Browns 45-14. to That wasn't even close. I guess an elite team finally put us in our place. <laughs> uh, we won 27-17 to against the Steelers, but then got blown out by the Browns. 400 yards of offense for them, only 293 for us. We had 35 rushing yards. Baker Mayfield, five touchdowns, no interceptions, almost said one. He didn't have any. Sam Darnold didn't play terribly, to be fair to him. Two touchdowns, one pick. Completion percentage, 60% isn't the end of the world. It's still not great, though. Nick Chubb had a touchdown. It's cool that he's their running back. I wonder what his overall is. I can't click on him, can I? No, okay. Ronald Jones, 11 for 20, looking like my player career there. Nelson Aguilar had a good game. Eric Mann had a touchdown. Hold on. Who had two touchdowns? There's someone with three as well. Chester Rogers, are you serious? He had three touchdowns. David Njoku had two. Eric Mann, Robert Woods had a touchdown for us. Well, at least we won a playoff game. I really didn't expect that from this team. I knew this team would have a ton of players out of, you know, you know, on the team, I mean. But I couldn't think of many offensive linemen who went to USC. So I, I figured that would probably be the worst part. And maybe the linebackers near the end. Because I knew Clay Matthews did. I knew Nick Perry did. I didn't really know of any middle linebackers who did. But thank you guys very much for watching this. I think this one was pretty successful. It was an interesting one. We actually got to draft some, some starters and some good players. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.